Hey guys, I thought I would try something different today and offer you a sort of POV into a desk setup that I've been using religiously in my living room here with the new M1 MacBook Air. And yes, my cable management isn't the best, but um, I'm happy with it and I'm gonna be true to myself. I really don't care about cables so long as they're not in the way or on my desk surface. But uh, anyway, here you can see this desk setup and we're gonna sit down and kind of get into what I have going here, so. I'm kind of weird reading this uh, after the fact or after shooting this. So here's the monitor that I have. It is a Dell 27 inch 4K panel. Um, I don't know the exact model name, but I love the thin bezels here as I am showing you. Um, that's the main you know, highlight, I guess. It's a very clean looking monitor. And uh, it's also very sharp, you know, within Mac OS 4K is very enjoyable. You know, it's sort of retina quality. And I did cover up the Dell logo, as you can see with the uh, some electrical tape or some black uh, gaffer tape. And I'm powering, of course, this setup with the M1 MacBook Air. Um, hopefully I didn't say pro at the beginning here, but yeah, it's just an excellent laptop. And I have it on this uh, 12 South little dock that I have here plugged in via USB type C. Um, very simple, very easy to get up and go when I want to and also plug in and get to working. Um, and uh, yeah, let's go back to the desk here. Um, as you can see, I have this keyboard, which is uh, something from a company called RK Kludge. I don't know how many keys this is, like it's some sort of weird 74 key keyboard, but it's wireless, it's RGB, and it has brown switches, and I very much enjoy it for general typing. Then I have this Red Dragon K602 or K60 uh, mouse, I think. I'm probably botching the name, but I really like it so much that I'm willing to deal with a cable. And here we have the tried and true Logitech Z200 speakers. They sound great. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you are uh, like, a f like familiar with them. I can't speak. Um, they're great on Amazon. Then we have this lamp that I got from Target. Um, I think it's really clean and it offers some warm light into my desk setup um, before, I don't know, I just felt things were kind of dark and I like having more light, especially in the morning when I'm working here, like in Zoom calls and stuff like that, because I do use this setup for school. Uh, then I have this light bar that I installed behind the monitor, which bounces some ambient light onto the desk. And I'll demonstrate what this looks like by turning off some of my studio lights because it sort of drowns out the effect, if you will. So we'll do that here. So here's what conditions usually look like. And uh, if I turn it on here, I'll wait for my past self to do so. As you can see, it makes a huge difference in just the overall ambiance and sort of the environment. It makes it more engaging and less like dark and lonely, if you will. And you can also change the warmth or the coolness of the light. So I'm gonna change it to a warm color to kind of match the lamps in my apartment in the background and also in the foreground on my desk. And I really enjoy this. I think it looks really nice and also, you know, makes things more engaging and welcoming, I guess, here. And um, if we look around, it's attached via magnets. This is really cool. I didn't think it was gonna work out this well. Um, but yeah, as you can see here, you can just pull it off. Um, I had some adhesive in these magnets that were included in the box and it just attaches like so. So very simple setup and it's powered by USB. Um, so I am really happy with the way this turned out, even though there's some cable sticking out. But again, I don't really care. I'm not like super, I'm not like a super neat freak when it comes to, oh God, so <laughs> that, that's bad. But you know, I just sort of ignore that and <laughs> pull the couch back there. So there we are. Um, now we'll turn the lights back on. Next up, we got this monitor arm that I've mounted my 4K panel to. It's from a company called, I actually, I don't know. I'll just leave a link in the description with the name. And uh, basically it's clean, it's white, it goes with my desk. And it's like, I don't wanna say hydraulic, it's like gas powered, if you will, hydraulic. What the hell am I talking about? Anyway, you can manipulate your monitor um, a lot of different ways here, up, down, left, right. It kind of makes your monitor float, which I really enjoy. And uh, then we have this webcam mounted on top. I can't tell you the brand of this either. It's some generic Amazon thing, but it works for Zoom calls and such. And I'll type in Zoom right here with the brown switches, very satisfying. Uh, we can press enter, open that up, and then I'll open up the preferences to show you what the webcam quality looks like, I guess. Here we go, here's my messy hair. Um, and then I'll do some awkward smile here and wave at the camera, absolutely. Um, so that's what I look like during my Zoom calls. That's the background. Um, but yeah, it's necessary during this lovely time that we're in in history. And I'll close that here. Actually, no, I'll demonstrate sort of a very, very basic workflow that I might have during the week if I'm in a Zoom call and taking notes or engaging and doing an assignment. So I'll, I'll use, you know, like the multitasking within Mac OS like so. And uh, yeah, that's about all that is. I'll close these windows here. 
And moving beyond the setup, or at least to the base of the setup, we have this desk. Uh, again, it's from a company that I can't remember, but it is a standing desk I got for around 350, and I'm very happy with it actually. Um, it has enough space. I believe it's like 24 by 55, and you can see that awful cable mess with under that. <laughs> so. That's great, um, but as you can see, I can stand comfortably and do work out of the chair that I have, which is uh, nice. I mean, I don't do this as much as I should, but at least I have the ability to do so, especially during my winter semester, which is absolutely going to be online. And then I typed in some gibberish there. <laughs> and here we have this chair. It's from a company I believe called Hylon. It's around 189 on Amazon right now, and it's just a great generic um, back supporting chair, like an ergonomic one, I think. Uh, it helps me sit up like a normal human being. I'm not slouching when I'm in this chair. It supports my neck and I very much enjoy it. I think it's worth it. I'm probably gonna buy two more, one for my um, editing office that I have in the other room in this apartment and also one for my desk setup at home because I'm working more there as well. So I can sit here and you know, just uh, sit back and not feel like my back is slowly deteriorating away. Um, but yeah, this is this setup. I hope you enjoyed. The M1 MacBook Air is a very powerful device and there's M&M back there. Shout out to my dad who got me this um, awesome poster. But yeah, um, can't wait to share more benchmarks on the M1 Max and tests and all that in comparison. So stay tuned for that. But hopefully you enjoyed this setup video. Bye.